The NFL world was rocked on Tuesday morning. It was reported first by ESPN's Adam Schefter that Jets fired Robert Sala after three You're and a half fired. seasons. The whole NFL world was shocked. After the firing was announced, it was reported very quickly that defensive coordinator Jeff Albrecht will be the interim head coach for the remainder of the season. Sala had been the head coach for the Jets since 2021, but never had a winning record and struggled with QB problems all throughout his tenure, even after the acquisition of future Hall of Fame quarterback Aaron Rodgers. During his time with the Jets, he went 20 and 36 and failed to even sniff the playoffs. According to Adam Schefter, Jets owner Woody Johnson told Sala right before he released a statement saying he had been fired. The firing comes right after the Jets lost to the Vikings 23-17 in London, in which they fell to 2-3 on the year. The Jets also have a tough game up ahead as they take on their arch rival the Bills next Monday night. They also report that Sala and the entire Jets locker room was stunned. Jay Glazer of Fox Sports later confirmed that he had just talked to Sala, who according to him, replied by saying he was blindsided by Woody Johnson walking into his office and letting him go. Robert Sala was certainly disappointed he was going to be given the opportunity to get things going with what he had said is a very good roster. However, reports had been surfacing all throughout the year that Sala had lost the locker room. It was also apparent that Sala was not getting along with Rodgers. It happened firsthand when Sala was pushed away by Rodgers when he tried to go for a hug versus the Patriots a few weeks ago. They both shook it off during the post game, but it only got worse after that to the horror of Jets fans. It continued to get worse when the Jets lost the Broncos 10-9 last Sunday. After the loss, Sala disagreed with Rodgers regarding the snap count. Sala stated this, we gotta figure it out whether or not we're good enough or ready to handle all of the cadence. Cadence had not been an issue all camp. Felt like our operation had been operating pretty good. Obviously, took a major step back. However, Rodgers shot right back at Salah and said, that's one way to do it. The other way is to hold them accountable. I mean, we haven't had an issue. We've had one false start. Morgan had one false start, I believe until this. One week later, the Jets continued to struggle and fell to the Vikings in London where Rodgers threw three interceptions in the loss. This is the first time in the 25 years that Johnson has owned the Jets that he has fired a head coach in the middle of the season. Back in the spring of 2023, when the Jets traded for Rodgers, Sala was finally given a good QB as before, the Jets had struggled with that position since he took over. However, it did not last long as Rodgers tore his ACL in the fifth snap of the season in which the Jets had to revert back to Zach Wilson. Sala in his first season drafted Wilson with the second overall pick, but he never materialized into a franchise QB. When Rodgers missed most of the season last year, Sala was given a pass despite missing the playoffs for a third straight year. But after five games of very disappointing play, the Jets had enough and fired Sala after three and a half seasons on the job. Now that Sala has been fired, the Jets will move on with Albrecht as the head coach. Despite the offense not performing, offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett will keep his job. The offense is averaging less than 17 points a game, along with 200 yards per game, which ranks toward the bottom of the league. Before Sala was hired by the Jets, he was the D coordinator for the Niners. San Fran was the best defense in the league when he was the defensive coordinator. During his tenure at, as DC for the Niners, Sala's defense was at the top and was a main reason why they went to the Super Bowl and almost won. Many thought he would succeed as a head coach. However, that was not the case. The Jets will now move on and hope to regroup as they have a very tough schedule ahead. We will see what happens with the Jets moving forward as they try to make the playoffs for the first time in 13 years, which is the longest playoff drought in North American sports. Let me know in the comments who you think is the most to blame for the Jets' struggles. Was it Sala? Is it Rodgers, Hackett, or someone else? And if the Jets don't make the playoffs this season, who should be the next head coach for the New York Jets? Bill Belichick? Question mark? And as always, don't forget to subscribe, follow, and like the vid for more amazing content.